hai hi hey everybody welcome to another episode of hallmark movies promote bad morality my name is mark and i'm bella and today we're going to talk about this movie we watched yesterday called merry kissmas the worst movie Kiss not christmas kissmas terrible it's on netflix trash <laughs> trash the whole point of this movie this is the this is what it says this is the uh, synopsis it says you want me to read the description no i don't know i'm just you want to read it sure kayla's engaged to a famous choreographer but is having some doubts and discontent turns to confusion when she shares a magical kiss with a stranger shares a magical kiss So the whole movie, I'm thinking, what's gonna happen? How is this accidental kiss gonna happen? Is it gonna be like, oh, I drop my purse on the ground and I, you know, I come down picking it up, but I turn around, I bump into somebody, accidentally kiss them on the lips? No, <laughs> I don't know. I thought, you know, what's gonna happen? Is it gonna be like, oh, they were having a, a masquerade party for Christmas for some reason, and she thought it was her fiance, and she kisses it as a stranger. Who knows? No. No. She just literally cheats on her fiance. Yeah. That's what happens. <laughs> Pretty much. And it's like every movie, every movie we watch. We've watched probably like six, seven movies of, of like Christmas themed, you know, made for TV movies. Mm -hmm. And every movie it's like, I'm in a relationship with a successful guy, but he doesn't treat me like the princess that I should be treated like. And so then <laughs> I find this other dude and instead of breaking up with my dude, I cheat on my dude for like half the movie, and then I realize I'm not in love with my fiance. Yeah. And so then we break up, and then I marry this other dude. It's just like, why don't you just break up with him and then be with this guy? Yeah. Instead of cheat. They all cheat. They're all cheaters. I don't know. They're all cheaters. But it's like weird because it's also like, so it's just promoting this idea that you, well, none of these characters know what they want. Mm -hmm. They're all super confused. Yeah. And then also, it's like, well, I can just do whatever feels good until I know what I need to do. And if that means being unfaithful to my, you know, boyfriend or fiance or whatever, then I'll do that. Yeah. Or if I'm not getting treated like I want to be treated, then it's okay for me to go do this over here with some other person. And it's like, no, it's not. That's not okay. It's not okay. And uh, I think this is this is a huge deal. I think we really need to like get some sanctions, some government like we need to stop this because this is ruining relationships. The Hallmark movies. Yeah, it's this is why there's so many broken homes in America. This is why there's so many kids being born out it's okay. of wedlock. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's like you, you've seen people in real life, and I have too, where it's like, you know, I'm just not in love with this person anymore, so I'm going to go somewhere else. Yeah, true. What? Yeah. What? What? That doesn't make sense. At least cut it off first. <laughs> At least cut it off first. At least. <laughs> At the very least. Yeah. Or just be single, because that's okay. If you just want to be a player, just be, just be a player. And <laughs> just commit to your lifestyle. Either be committed or be a player, but don't be in between. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Either be a player or get out the game. Mm. Straight Preach. up. Straight up. <laughs> but yeah, terrible movie. The whole point of the movie is fiance is really rude and not not just like normal rude it's like clownishly rude like he had this what is his accent it's like some terrible accent i don't know it wasn't what even his a, accent was was not even a real accent yeah clownishly bad and then she meets this baker dude they start going out mm -hmm. yeah baker dude they kiss a lot every scene that they're All in the montage the time, it's yeah. just like terrible closed mouth kissing <laughs> for half just the like... movie I've never seen someone kiss so much. Oh my gosh! Terrible. And then, and then, uh, and then uh, they he adopts a dog. And they get stuck in an elevator, and then they end up getting married at the end of the movie. Spoiler alert! That's what happens. When she finally breaks up with her fiance at the yeah. end of the movie. She breaks up with her fiance at the end at their engagement party. 
<laughs> and then literally, when they break up, the very next scene, he's walking off with some other girl. Yeah. Which is like, it's comedic. And she, and there's like, every one of these movies, it has what we said before, it has like, I'm in a relationship, I'm discontent, this guy's a jerk. And then she meets this nice guy, and then she's very confused about her feelings. She tries to be nice to this nice guy, and then he like rebuffs her. And then she goes back to her original guy, and then she's upset. And then she realizes her original guy's bad. She storms off, or storms to him, and tells him off. Then it's a montage sequence. Wait, wait, montage sequence. Oh, I gotta have the montage. Very important. Have the montage sequence before, actually. Before that. Yeah, I was. So the montage sequence, storming. Then after that, there's the reconciliation and then the marriage. That's how these movies work. You have to have the marriage too. Otherwise, it's just like, why did I even watch this? Why? And it all happens on Christmas. (laughs) Like, nothing's. I can't even, like, go to the DMV on Christmas. I can't even go. You can't even go to Walmart on Christmas, yet somehow the government is working. Like, one of these movies, it's like, their divorce finally processed on Christmas Day. It's like, this doesn't oh, yeah. happen. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't even go get chips and salsa on Christmas Day, which doesn't make sense. Why? I, I mean, chips and salsa are good any time of the year, you know what I'm saying? Real. But, uh, I don't know. It's crazy. It is. It's crazy out here. Other movie. Let's let me watch this one. Christmas, one? Christmas with a view. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't look like she did in the movie. That's weird. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, that was interesting. That was like, wait, which one? I'm trying to. Remember. It's the one where they're they're at like a uh, at a ski resort. Oh yeah. And she's the manager at the ski resort, and uh, this oh, yeah. this hot. Playboy, chef. you know, this, this hot Playboy chef come in. He's like, yo, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not just gonna heat up the kitchen. I'm gonna heat up your hearts. And uh, but then it's totally not. But like he that also, at all. that guy also looks like two other guys in the movie. Like they all look the same, like all the same the guy. Same. And then terrible actor. And then like half of the movie is a montage. Remember, like. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, why are we, why? I'm beginning to think that the montage is like, I ran out of dialogue for these flat characters. Let's just have a montage. Yeah. Let's running around in the snow and throwing snowballs is completely acceptable behavior for someone that's in their late 20s. Yeah. <laughs> and they have some dumb, dumb music that they can only afford, like, to pay one guy to do one song. And it's like... Yeah, it's like that song from last night. Oh my what was gosh. That? that was so bad. Christmas kind of love. <laughs> yes, it was so... And then they played that through the, all the montage. All the montage. Like one song. The same song. I can't. I can't do it. And then, go... What was the other one we watched? Oh, Christmas Carol. Yeah, that was the one with the... Oh, the one with the, all the girls the other night. Oh, Boy Bye? Boy Bye. Now, these movies, <laughs> these, uh, as you could say, African American movies. They had get better acting. Acting was really, much better. Really, they did. Yeah. They, like, you actually bought what was happening, whereas, like, in most of these movies, it was just, like, awful acting, which is kind of part of the fun of it because it's so corny but in this other one what was it called boy bye boy bye yeah you said that yeah i did and okay (laughs) in the um in that one it was like it was just real like it felt real it felt like i was legitimately there this is a real situation yeah and the the male lead was actually fine was actually like he actually <laughs> looked good. No homo, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's like every all the white Hallmark made for TV movies. The the like attractive guy is like he looks the most, like a cricket. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm like a cricket. What? Yeah, like, yeah. Like his, I don't know. He's just like very bony and his yeah. nose is huge nose, very bony, very pointy. Has a five o'clock shadow all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but this dude looked like Luther Vandross, which was like, I was like, whoa. And he's all smooth too. He's like, hey, you know, man, I just, he doesn't talk I too much, which makes him like, I can't be without you. Yeah. You know, that's it. <laughs> Very mysterious. Well dressed. Mm-hmm. You know, 
I need to stop describing this man so affectionately, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it was a good movie. La Fonda from Napoleon Dynamite was in it. Oh yeah, um, that's right. She's huge. She's like six foot eight. Yeah, she's, she's so, so tall. So tall, but uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's a good movie. Yeah, it, that was a good one. But ultimately, I think the point here is like, these movies are like, they're corny and they're fun to watch, but they're also incredibly misleading about relationships, which mm -hmm. is not surprising at all. But I just think it's funny. I guess my takeaway is I just think it's funny how it's like, I'm dissatisfied with my relationships. I'm gonna cheat on my significant other with this other person that treats me better, and then I'm gonna leave that other guy for this guy. And it's like, yeah. I just don't understand. But like, how. not talk about it. Yeah. And be with both guys at the same time. It's like, exactly. It's like why? You trash girl. Yeah. yeah. But then the, it's weird too because the guy doesn't like the guy from last night. Like he didn't think anything of it. Like he went along with it too. Yeah. He didn't say like, hey, I'm not gonna be with you until you break up with this dude. He was just like, yeah, let's kiss all the time. <laughs> yeah, literally every five seconds it was like literally every five seconds it was like sandwich her face and just whole movie that was, that, was a, that was a quarter of the movie right there yeah but anyway i memorized their kiss in my head now i don't want that <laughs> <laughs> but uh anyways moral of the story is don't cheat on your significant others and if you want to be with somebody if you don't want to be alone this christmas don't be trash don't be trash <laughs> be cool <laughs> and be friends with people because ultimately if you're cool you're relaxed and you're really good friends with people and you care about them you're just a nice person you're a nice person you're not cheating on on people you're not Super a liar uptight. not uptight you'll find somebody but stop trying to make every every friendship a relationship and stop stop trying to make your relationships devoid of friendship This has been another episode. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. And tell us your thoughts about Hallmark movies. Hit us <laughs> up in the comment section. We should tell them the names so that they can go watch them if they haven't seen them. Uh, we will drop the names below. Yeah. And you can watch all of them. If you want to watch them and then click here and give feedback. Alright. We'll <laughs> see you later. Bye.